when I was reading stimulus first, I would read the question stem, then read the stimulus again. And so I find it more efficient to read question stem first. Plus, I find it really useful to go into the stimulus knowing what to look for. Now, if you simply want to, as part of your review process, better understand more complex methods of reasoning, then the question type doesn't matter and you can focus exclusively on just evaluating the reasoning in the argument. But under test day conditions, I personally find it really useful to read the question stem to know what my objective is, what I'm looking to do, because for a strength and a weakened question, I'm looking to evaluate the gap and do something with the gap in the argument. But for a fact set, like a must be true question, there's no point at looking for gaps because there isn't likely going to be a gap at all, especially if it's just a fact set alone. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.